Hello, good evening everyone, and uh, welcome to this evening's session. We'll just look back at what we've done today, uh, fill up our spreadsheet and look ahead to tomorrow. So as usual, we started off the day looking at the economic calendar, and we knew that there was a report of high importance due out at 1.30 p.m. GMT plus 1, which was the U.S. durable goods orders and also the U.S. initial jobless claims, and also the Bank of England uh, Governor George uh, Carney was going to uh, speak in Wales. So that was all happening around 130, 140 GMT plus 1. So when we met in the morning, at the time the market was trending sideways between the pivot point and the first support. But in view of the reports coming out, we decided to keep out the market, so we didn't place any pending orders. And as you can see, the market then broke the first support, went down, broke the second support, and then started trending sideways. So when we then met again at uh, 125, this is what we saw with the market trending sideways. So we marked out the sideways trend with just two white lines, the high of the sideways trend and the low of the sideways trend. And we said we'll keep out of the sideways trend. So the only clear opportunity to trade then was a pending buy order just above the first support, which is what we did. So we placed a pending buy order just above the first support. And as we can see, the market went up, broke the first support, took our buy order with a 20 pips stop loss, 60 pips profit limit in place. But the market soon came back down, took us out of the trade, and we lost 20 pips on that trade. And that was the last trade of the day. And as you can see, the market is still beginning to trend sideways. So today we only had one live trade, which resulted in a losing trade. So we lost uh, 20 pips. So we're we'll down to 520. But again, the main thing is that it was a good trading day because I stuck to my trading plan. I wouldn't really say this market trended before the report came out because you can't really say that's a trend. It just fell and then decided to go sideways. So I personally would still look at that as a sideways trend. But you make your own judgment. So I'll say here that the market trended sideways prior to the last report of high importance. And again, you can put as much as you've observed in the market on your spreadsheet. So that's an update on uh, what's happened today. Um, we just look ahead to tomorrow, so we can see the market is now trending sideways. But I'll still take this whole thing as a sideways trend, so I'll just move the high of the sideways trend to the new high of 2764. So I'll just move that up to 2764. And I will still take the whole of that as a sideways trend for now. So those are, that's my own mark of the sideways trend between these two white lines. Um, I will consider all that still a sideways trend and then we'll see what happens tomorrow. So looking at to tomorrow, um, there are no reports of high importance actually coming out tomorrow during the day. We just have the consumer price index coming out from Japan at half past midnight GMT plus one tonight. So at half past midnight GMT plus one, you have the Japan consumer price index report that will be coming out. Obviously that will have an impact on currencies paired with the yen, uh, but there, other, other than that there are no other reports during the day due out. So we will, obviously if you're trading currencies paired with the yen, then you have to <laughs> stay up till half past midnight and trade the, the currencies paired with the yen, but uh, obviously if you're waiting, if you're sticking to the euro US dollar, uh, we'll see what happens in the morning. Okay, any questions? That's Dow Jones. You can see Dow Jones actually fell 
following the report, uh, the Dow Jones just collapsed, broke the pivot point and fell. This is actually the moving average 50 from the daily time frame. So it's actually broken, if I take you to the daily time frame, so you can see from the daily time frame, the, the market has actually broken the moving average 50 on the downside. And like I said, that's why I usually have a marker there so I can know when that happens when I'm day trading. So I knew that I was approaching the moving average 50 there and it's broken that. So that's just the Dow Jones. But obviously, it's the Euro US dollar we're looking at. Uh, you say you're not seeing the chart. Um, it might, the screen might have frozen. Uh, but I do, I do trade Dow Jones. But I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying people should trade Dow Jones, please, because Dow Jones is an extremely volatile market. Um, again, you need to know what market you're trading. You need to be familiar with the market, your money management, all those other things come into play. Um, but yes, if you do have quite a lot of money in your account, you can then start to trade different markets. And you find when you trade different markets, there's a chance you can catch a huge move in the market. Uh, you can see that the New Zealand dollar two fell and just collapsed. Um, so you can have that, but you can see the Aussie US dollar was trending sideways. Oil was trending sideways. Um, Dollar yen fell and started to trend sideways. Pound dollar was all over the place sideways. So you can see it's hit and miss. You don't know which is going to go, which is going to trend or which is not going to trend. So again, it's sticking to your plan, your money management, consistency. Those are the keys to success. Any questions, comments before we call it an evening? Good. No questions. Brilliant. So have a good evening, everyone. Sleep well, unless you're trading the currency spread with the end, so you'll be up at half past midnight. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll uh, speak to you tomorrow morning. Take care. God bless.